Nearly two weeks after a man was killed and another had his hand severed in a violent attack, BC's Attorney General has penned this letter asking the federal government to update the criminal code to include machetes as a prohibited weapon. To uh, take action that has been taken in the United Kingdom, to ban uh, machetes as a restricted weapon under the criminal code, uh, following a horrific attack uh, in downtown Vancouver recently. Vancouver police refusing to say what type of weapon was used, but machetes have been documented in other notorious attacks. Oh, I turned around and I got actually macheted in the head. The large knives, sometimes confiscated from the crab park encampments. Every little bit helps. Um, and, you know, anytime you can take, uh, you know, uh, dangerous weapons off the street, uh, it's a good thing. These are sort of handcrafted in Brazil, and uh, this one is 18 inches long. At this camping and adventure store in Surrey, the shopkeeper says they sell more than a dozen machetes a year, typically to homeowners and off-roaders to clear bush. There would be no reason to be walking around carrying a machete. In the UK starting next Tuesday, it will be against the law to own machetes and zombie-style knives. It's already illegal to use any knife or weapon in a threatening way, carry them in public without a good reason, and sell them to anyone under the age of 18. If it's going to help uh, eliminate even one attack, then I would say certainly it's not a bad idea. The province looking to prevent violent and deadly attacks by taking machetes off the streets. Angela Jung, Global News.